Now, in the first half, just to start off with you, Tapelo, I mean, we talked about how difficult it is to get started in this business. Yeah. Where did you start? I mean, where would you advise people to start in the film business? <laughs> well, there's no, there's no real beginning. Mm -hmm. um, but the way I started, I came from a small town com called Ladysmith. And I had to leave Ladysmith after matric because I needed to find and, 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 and dig deeper and find better opportunities. And, and I started off going to a film school called AFTER. Um, the aim was to go and study acting. But for the life of me, I couldn't, I couldn't um, absorb the idea of studying a talent that, you, that God gave you. Instead, learn a skill and how to implement. And I thought I couldn't do that for three, four years. So I thought, how do I get into the business of filmmaking? Mm -hmm. You know, I've got a, I've got a very big interest in, in, in the entrepreneurial world. And I thought it would be producing. And Where did you get your break? And the actual your physical break into it? Into the industry. Off my first commercial was a Sprite commercial. And I, had, I got uh, a lead role in the commercial. And that's where it all took off. You know, that was the first real break you know, into this industry. But um, from then on, it had to be filmmaking. It had to be movies, because the aim wasn't to be a commercials mm. performer and so forth. So one day, I mean, everyone thinks, I mean, with television too, that it's all glamorous mm. and it's all bright lights. But how tough is it to break in? You know, it's, it's a tough industry. And I guess it's one of those things where, you know, people often glamorize film, you know, because it's not perceived as really nuts and bolts. But it really is a nuts and bolts industry. I mean, when you look at, actually getting started, you know, it's really about getting financing. And a lot of times people sort of focus in on the artistic process, you know, writing yeah. the script and casting and making yeah. the film. But the real, the real essence of filmmaking is actually securing idea to budget. And that's really what it's about. And I think that's what people often get to miss. And they also miss, like, uh, Tabelo will know about, like, you know, s being on set at half past five in the morning, yep. you know, having rain issues, you know. <laughs> it's rain it's issues. Those complications that people yeah. sometimes miss out on, you know. They see the, the red carpet moments, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, Tabelo, you mentioned the big bogey word there for entrepreneurs, money. How <laughs> difficult is it to raise it in the it's film business? absolutely difficult. Mm. It's, it's impossible. It's, it's bordering on impossible, especially um, in our country or, let me say, our continent. Um, it's, it's, we, we're in an industry where we've somehow sold the glamour before we, s before we sell the business of mm. it so or, or the foundation of it. Nobody's really spoken about the foundation of, of TV and the foundation of filmmaking. I know we, we all sort of scrape the surface with it. Mm. It's so tough to raise money. And, and, and obviously raising money means you have to appeal to whoever you're asking the money from and you have to sort of um, benefit them as much as they're going to benefit you. And in this case, we don't have success rates or success yeah. stories within the film industry. So it's hard to even, you know, to even reference encourage people and then encourage them to. How does it go one day later? I mean, you go into the bank manager's office with your leather jacket on and you say, listen, <laughs> we've got a great film here. We've got brilliant actors. It's a cracking storyline. Can you give us several million to make it? What's the reaction? Mm. You see, I mean, I think one of the key things is you want to go in there and not talk about story, not talk about how awesome your actors are, but say, I'm doing a film for this demographic. This demographic earns this much money. Mm -hmm. They have this kind of um, you know, excess money to spend, I mean, so, uh, disposable income. And I think that this story speaks to that market. Once you start saying things like that to a bank manager, the idea of you being a filmmaker sort of, you know, it's completely thrown out of their minds because what they're hearing is return on investment yep. and security. And that's what yep. they want to hear. Yep. What difficulties do you have? I've just finished making a film called Scafe. Um, I'm off to Swaziland tomorrow to go l um, license the film in Swaziland. And then I go to Zambia after that to license the film in Zambia and, and look at their local cinemas. Mm. But locally, what I'm, oh, the challenge that I'm finding at the moment is the fact that A, the average South African cannot access a cinema. So mm. it's hard to sell numbers to a potential investor because there's only so many cinemas yeah. and only so many people can reach them. And it's not nearly the majority of our citizens. So I've created an independent distribution model where we take it back to the culture of Bioscope involving the Department of Education. Since I'm making socially relevant and socioeconomically relevant films, we want to educate. So I want to take my, my films for the next five years to every province, mm. to every high school, or, 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 so, or, or let me say institution in our country, to as many as possible, yeah. so we can screen and while educating, and in turn maybe try and skills develop by selling the, the business of it. So it's, 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 
it's not easy. And at the moment, I'm just trying to settle with um, a cinema distributor locally. It's not easy because there's costs that, that, that we as independent filmmakers have to come up with from where I don't know. And, and, and the just, that they take. Yeah, and just like the, the whole arrangement is still not, it's still not, if I could say fair, <laughs> or it's still not, it doesn't help. <laughs> it, it's not a help me help you situation <laughs> yeah. at all. It's, it's very much, I need you right now. So, <laughs> you know, Please. what do you want me to do? I'll do anything. And it's, it's not the way it's going to work. We need to learn how to get our content on DVD and sell it cheaper than the fake DVD somehow exactly. mm. and take it to the average South African because every third household has a DVD player but not a cinema. So sure. that's the angle. Mm. But that's one question, Wandile. I mean, the film industry, the costs, the actual hardware that you need now mm. to make a film has come down dramatically Absolutely. in the mm -hmm. last 10, 20 years. Absolutely. And yet, the business is still struggling to make DVDs, as you say, cheaper than you can buy them in the shops. Yeah. Uh, how, do, how is the industry going to deal with this? I think, you know, it's, it's one of the things that I really find inspiring about the Nollywood model. And also what Tepel is talking about now is that young filmmakers, actually filmmakers across the board, especially in South Africa, need to start being more aggressive. You know, we can't just rely on just the cinema model. Yeah, man. What we need to do is actually go out there, speak to people who might be interested. Like, for example, Tapelo's innovating. You know, he's saying, look, I've got this product. There's something about this that might work for a client, the Department of Education. And I think that's what's vital now. And, and also, as you say, the technology has become cheaper. Yep. And so what's happened is that you can make a film that's great quality. Mm -hmm. I mean, the audio can be 5.1 Dolby Digital. You know, we can even make Blu-ray if you really wanted to. Yes, but sir. the costs are down. And it's really about us finding a way to get it to market. And I guess yeah. the issue really is distribution. And that's, that's the crux of it. That's how, sorry, that's how Hollywood started. That's mm. how Hollywood began. You know, there was a bunch of filmmakers who said, okay, we're going to do it our own way. And they became the majority, <laughs> exactly. ultimately. You know, and, and, and that's what we need to do. We cannot, clearly we cannot rely um, comfortably on, on, our, on broadcasters. Mm. You know, there's only so much that you can Definitely. access with them. And, and, and movies are watched on cinema. It's the culture of cinema. Mm. So I the only way we can influence, educate, heal, and develop our societies is if we take cinema to them, mm. you know? Um, because otherwise it means we're just making um, um, movies or we're making these cinematic pieces um, of art. You know, no pieces of see. art just for Rosebank and Santin. Right? Exactly. Well, one question I have to ask you uh, from the first half uh, is that why do you think something like Nollywood hasn't taken root further south in Africa? I mean, there's, there's more infrastructure here, there's more skills. You could argue there's more capital. Well, why yeah. do you think something like that, an operation like that, hasn't taken root here? And for them to spread um, mm. further down south? I don't know, I think we, as much as we're all Africans, we all have a different, um, a different, a different essence or a different mm, flavor sensibly. about us. Mm. You know, um, we, we, we're probably more educated and more, and more experienced uh, theoretically with, with the idea of filmmaking in South Africa. Mm. And we, I think we want to make films of a slightly better quality. I think we want to challenge ourselves a bit more and not just mass produce. That's what we're all trying to do, make great films. Mm. We're not just trying to tell a story in a week, we're trying to make great films as we go along. So A, we're not gonna f shoot 10 films a day, you know, <laughs> like it is in Nigeria. We're definitely not gonna go through that process. And I think it's okay for Nigeria to master what they've mastered within Nigeria and around Nigeria, but we've got our own style. And, and, and I think we need to just get better and better at that and just I, I don't know, find a way to get our products uh, to as many people as possible. Nigeria appeals to us, but I don't think we buy Nigerian products just as much. I don't think they're going to buy our films as much because they've got something they're comfortable with that's, that's their own. And mm -hmm.